Hello everyone, my name is Suresh Kuganesan and I am Chair of the Australasian Reporting Awards. I am pleased to have this opportunity to welcome you to the 2020 ARA Awards presentation. This is the 70th year of the ARA Awards and the first year ARA has held an awards presentation digitally. The uncertain times we are in makes this virtual awards presentation a very special occasion to congratulate the award recipients and to celebrate the value, longevity and resilience of the Australasian Reporting Awards. We look forward to moving ahead and celebrating the 2021 awards presentation together in person. At this juncture, I wish to thank my co-directors for their significant contributions to the awards process. I also wish to acknowledge the support ARA receives from its many supporters and sponsors. I thank all the ARA coordinators and adjudicators who make enormous voluntary contributions of their time and expertise in judging reports. But the awards are all about the entrance. Many organizations enter every year and some only occasionally to check on the standard of their reporting. The Chair's Commendation is a special award that was introduced to recognize sustained excellence in reporting. It is awarded to organizations that have achieved 10 consecutive gold awards. It gives me much pleasure to announce the City of Ride Council achieved its 10th consecutive gold award this year and is therefore the recipient of the 2020 Chair's Commendation for Sustained Excellence in Reporting. I know you will all join me in congratulating the City of Ride Council. Well done to the City of Ride team. It is now my pleasure to invite Stephen Varady, Chair of the ARA Awards Committee, to recognise the organisations that have achieved a high standard in reporting with a bronze or a silver award. Thank you, Suresh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems a little odd that I'm not gazing out on a sea of excited dinner guests all looking resplendent in their best evening wear. Things are certainly a little different this year. One thing that's remained constant, however, is the continued importance and relevance of annual reports. More often in our modern world, we seek small, easily digestible pieces of information. Information that arrives quickly, tells us what we need to know, and then disappears just as quickly. But I still believe, and judging by the quality of the annual reports that were entered in the awards this year, so do many organisations still believe that there is a place in our modern fast paced lives for an holistic view of not only an organisation's achievements over time, but assurance that these achievements were reached through excellent business practices and with the application of good governance principles. Your annual report is the flagship medium through which you communicate your achievements, your practices, and your principles to your stakeholders. And it is now more important than ever. The bronze and silver and gold awards are not a competition, but provide entrants an opportunity to benchmark their reports against the ARA criteria, which are based on world's best practice. And of course, against other organisations in similar industry sectors. And while the awards are not a competition, we do live in a very competitive world. It is my privilege to announce this year's recipients of the Bronze and Silver Awards. Please don't be disappointed if your organisation does not receive a Gold Award this year. More than 25% of ARA entrants don't receive any award at all. The ARA assesses reports on the basis of the completeness and quality of the reporting about an organisation's behaviour and performance, rather than its actual behaviour and performance. Receiving a Bronze Award means that the report has provided satisfactory coverage of most aspects of the ARA criteria. High quality disclosures in some major areas and it has addressed current legislative and regulatory requirements. Receiving a bronze award means you've done all right. 
It's good. You have satisfactorily met some of the requirements, but it does mean that the AOA believes you still have some work to do in other areas. The 2020 Bronze Award recipients are Congratulations to all of the Bronze Awards recipients. You are on the most important step towards achieving excellence in reporting. This earns a heartfelt well done from me. The organisation names you are about to see on the screen have received a silver award for their annual reports. To receive a silver award, a report has to provide quality coverage of most aspects of the ARA criteria, adequate disclosure of key aspects of the core business, and has to address current legislative and regulatory requirements. Receiving a silver award means your report is somewhere between really good and almost great. Your next challenge is to produce an outstanding report, a gold award report, that will be a model for other organisations in your sector to learn from. With a little more effort from you, there may even be more gold awards next year. I congratulate you all on achieving a silver award for your organisation. This is by no means an easy achievement. Hong Kong based CLP Holdings was the first organisation to achieve a gold award as a first time entrant and receive award for best first time entry all in the same year. 
Being a strong advocate for excellence in reporting, CLP became the ARA's sponsor partner for this special award. The ARA commends all organisations that entered the awards for the first time in 2020 for submitting their annual reports for critical assessment. Vivian Au, Deputy Director, Public Affairs Group, CLP Power Hong Kong Limited, will present the CLP Holdings Award for the best first time entry. Thank you, Stephen. Reporting is a continual learning process, and this ALA award is important in bringing in new thinking and raising the bar for us all as the reporters. Now in its 22nd year, the best first time entry award was introduced to recognize the high quality of reporting by organizations that have entered the ALA awards for the first time. The ALA is pleased to announce that again this year, the first time entrant was judged as having met the high standard of the rigorous ALA adjudication process for this award and has achieved a goal award. And the winner of the 2020 Best First Time Entry goes to Lotte Chemical Titan Holding for High. The judges said this is an engaging report full of useful information about the company supported by good graphs and tables. It communicates effectively on how the company performed and where it fits in its operating environment. The performance review and the governance section, especially risk disclosure, are excellent. A congratulation goes to this organization from Malaysia. ARA is very pleased to have Safe Work Australia as its sponsor partner for this important award. Safe Work has been involved in this award since helping to develop the criteria for it. Michelle Baxter, Chief Executive Officer of Safe Work Australia, will present the Safe Work Australia Award for Work Health and Safety Reporting. Thanks, Stephen. Safe Work Australia is pleased to be involved with the Australasian Reporting Awards and to see this event come together this year, albeit in a different format due to COVID-19. Safe Work Australia has also had to pivot this year, with many of our resources redirected into providing work health and safety guidance and tools to help Australian workplaces manage health and safety risks posed by COVID-19. The special award for work health and safety reporting was introduced 20 years ago to recognise excellence in reporting of work health and safety performance and new initiatives undertaken to improve health and safety in workplaces. It's my pleasure to announce the finalists for the special award for work health and safety reporting. Main Roads Western Australia and Marlborough Lines Limited New Zealand. And the winner of the 2020 Work Health and Safety Reporting Award is Marlborough Lines Limited. The judges said that this report demonstrated Marlborough Lines' strong commitment to the health and safety of their workforce. Their report states that health and safety is the first consideration in all that we do and the company's excellent work health and safety achievements are detailed throughout the report. Safe Work Australia congratulates Marlborough Lines on their report and their commitment to work health and safety. The ARA is pleased to have had a long-term relationship with the Governance Institute of Australia from when it was Chartered Secretaries Australia. This award was introduced to increase awareness of the importance of good governance. Megan Motto, Chief Executive Officer of the Governance Institute of Australia, will present the Governance Institute Award for Governance Reporting in the private sector and in the public and not-for-profit sectors. Thank you, Stephen. I am delighted to be part of the proceedings today for this very important event. This particular award was introduced in 1998 in association with the Governance Institute of Australia, then Chartered Secretaries Australia, to recognise the quality and completeness of disclosure in reporting on governance. It gives me much pleasure to announce the finalists for the awards for governance reporting in the private sector. 
They are CLP Holdings, Transurban and West Farmers. And the winner is Transurban. The judges said Transurban meticulously addresses the ARA criteria for governance reporting and the governance principles set out by the ASX Corporate Governance Council. With good use of plain, direct language and avoidance of motherhood statements, it provides confidence that governance is strongly embedded in the organisational culture. Now, to the finalists for the Governance Reporting Award in the public and not-for-profit sectors. The finalists are the Audit Office of New South Wales, Judicial Commission of New South Wales, and NZ Superfund. And the winner is Judicial Commission of New South Wales. The judges said the Judicial Commission has consistently submitted excellent reports and has been a finalist for this award several times. This report features an excellent performance section with good use of highlights and results in brief. Effective use of case studies provides additional transparency and disclosure. Our congratulations to both Transurban and to the Judicial Commission of New South Wales. Copyright Agency is the sponsor partner of this award. Copyright Agency licensing allows the legal use of material developed by others and ensures that the creators of material can be fairly compensated. Michael Witt, Senior Licensing Consultant of the Copyright Agency, will present the Copyright Agency Award for communication in the private, public and not-for-profit sectors. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, Copyright Agency have recently developed some simple guidelines in a handbook to help businesses draft and implement copyright compliance, um, including Zoom uh, webinars and presentations like this, um, as well as for putting finalist news articles on social media and websites. So um, if you'd like a copy of that, please uh, click on the link on the ARA site or um, simply send me an email. Um, my email is nwit at copyright.com.au. Now then, um, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the finalists for the Communication Award in the private sector. Uh, this award was introduced in 1998 to recognize excellence in communicating with stakeholders. And the finalists are CLP Holdings, Marlborough Lines, and Sanford Limited. And the winner is Sanford. Congratulations, guys. Um, the judges liked the honest, balanced report of highs and lows and the unflinching examination of progress in maintaining healthy oceans, sustainable fishing and safe workplace. Evocative storytelling, creative photography and a well-placed presentation helped to make this an outstanding report. So well done once again. Um, now to the finalists for the Communications Award in, public, in the public sector and they are Australian Renewable Energy Authority, Wakaito River Authority, and Watercare Services Limited. And the winner is Watercare Services Limited. Well done, guys. The judges said this is well written uh, with interesting photography and a lively section on strategy and performance, which reflects organization focus on efficiency and improvement. The theme of becoming future fit is well developed with strong emphasis on planning and investing for the future. So well done once again. Now to the finalists for the communications award in the not-for-profit sector. These are Afford, Cancer Council of New South Wales and Hort Innovation. And the winner is Cancer Council of New South Wales. Uh, congratulations guys, this focused message-driven report uh, said the judges takes the reader through we're discovering we're preventing and we're supporting messages with a human face given to each one friendly language a focus on outcomes rather than operations and an impressive our performance over time uh, section set this report apart so our uh, congratulations to everyone congratulations to Sanford water care services and cancer council of New South Wales.
This award was introduced in 2018 in association with Design Davey and the Australian Graphic Design Association. Jeff Davey, Managing Director of Design Davey and an ARA adjudicator will present the Design Davey Award for the best design cover. Thank you, Stephen. Design Davey is pleased to be involved with the ARA in supporting the award for the best cover design. This award was created to recognise the importance of design in helping to tell an organisation's story effectively. It gives me much pleasure to announce the finalist for the Design Davey Award for Best Cover Design, and they are Afford, Australian Trade and Investment Commission, China Everbright Limited, Meat and Livestock Australia, Victorian Electoral Commission. And the winner is Meat and Livestock Australia. This is an effective cover design that communicates a strong and simple message. The image of people enjoying a meal in the paddock with the onlooking cattle delivers a strong paddock to plate message. This is clean, simple execution that relies on quality, purpose designed photography, which merges a group of people enjoying a meal with the environment where the meat is sourced. There's also a subtle reference to the MLA logo in the table setup, which is a nice touch. Congratulations, Meat and Livestock Australia. We now welcome Linda Stoneman, ARA Director, to present the award for online reporting in the private, public and not-for-profit sectors. We would be very pleased to hear from a like-minded organisation which may be interested in joining the ARA as a sponsor partner for this important award. Thank you, Stephen. Our finalists for this award know that online reporting is much more than just posting an annual report PDF on their website. This award, introduced in 2008, recognises those organisations that best harness the special strength of the digital platform to engage and inform their stakeholders. It gives me much pleasure to announce the finalists for the online reporting award in the private sector. They are AGL Energy and CLP Holdings Limited. And the winner is CLP Holdings Limited. The judges said that this online report provides easy access to extensive information about a company transitioning from coal to other energy sources to generate electricity. It provides an excellent overview of strategy and planning and integrates links to performance information across regional operations. Now to the finalists for the online reporting award in the public sector. They are the Audit Office of New South Wales, Glen Ira City Council, Main Roads Western Australia. And the winner is Glen Ira City Council. The judges said that this is a bold attempt to cover the breadth and depth of the council's activities in an online report and it succeeds largely due to a structure and navigation system enabling readers to easily drill down from high level summaries to more detailed information. It makes effective use of relevant photos and graphics. Now to the finalists for the online reporting award in the not-for-profit sector. They are Australian Red Cross, Breast Cancer Trials, Cancer Council of New South Wales. And the winner is Australian Red Cross. The judges said this well presented, easy to read report addresses the theme of developing resilience. The opening impactful images highlighting the Red Cross's activities set the scene. The sections where the money came from and where the money was spent reflect accountability and introduce the full financials. ARA congratulates CLP Holdings Limited, Glen Ira City Council and the Australian Red Cross. It's now my pleasure to invite Tang Lien, 
Managing Director of Nova Fusion to present the Nova Fusion Award for Integrated Reporting. Thank you, Stephen. Nova Fusion has been at the forefront of integrated reporting across ASEAN. We provide integrated reporting consultancy, which includes content mapping, gap analysis, and integrated reporting workshops. Now from 2010, there has been growing interest and increased activity around the world in integrating the reporting of financial performance with other information such as strategies, governance, prospects, and risks to enable organizations to better communicate their ability to create value over time. The ARA introduced a special award for integrated reporting in 2013 to support this international initiative and to contribute to the evolution of this process. Nova Fusion has proudly sponsored both the Integrated Reporting Award and the related Sustainability Reporting Award, which I'll present next, for the past five years. It's now my pleasure to announce the finalists for the Nova Fusion Integrated Reporting Award. They are AGO Energy, CPA Australia, Dexas, Sanford, Vic Super, and the winner is CPA Australia. Congratulations. The judges said CPA took a major step forward this year in terms of the reliability and completeness of its integrated report. The report includes a board statement acknowledging responsibility for it and a limited assurance report confirming it was prepared in accordance with the content elements of the IIRC framework. Our congratulations to CPA Australia. Tang Lien of Nova Fusion will now present the Nova Fusion Award for the Sustainability Report of the Year. Thank you, Stephen. This award was first introduced in 1997 as the Environmental Reporting Award and in 2005 was renamed the Sustainability Reporting Award to recognize the broader focus of sustainability reporting. The ARA has now introduced gold, silver, bronze awards for sustainability reporting to benchmark the standard of reporting against the ARA best practice criteria. There are four finalists for the sustainability report of the year in the private sector. They have all achieved gold awards for sustainability reporting this year. They are Bingo Industries, COP Holdings Limited, Sanford Limited, and Suncorp Group. And the winner is COP Holdings Limited. Congratulations. The judges said this high quality sustainability report is based on material topics and is well supported by ESG disclosures. It includes a detailed description of the materiality assessment process with consideration of drivers and megatrends. And it also includes a good overview of stakeholder interests, channels and responses. I'm now pleased to announce the other results for this prestigious award. With our congratulations to the organisations that achieved the Silver Award standard for this award, they are and congratulations to the organisations that achieved the Bronze Award standard, they are As Chair of the ARA, it is my pleasure to close the announcement of the special awards and on behalf of us all, congratulate the finalists and the award winners. Well done to our sponsors in announcing the awards and thank you for enthusiastically participating in our 2020 virtual awards announcements and for your support throughout the year. Entry in the ARA General Awards is a benchmarking activity. Your annual report is judged against world's best practice criteria 
as having met the gold, silver or bronze standard in reporting excellence. Many entrants do not achieve any award or not the level of award they would like to have. To help entrants identify and address the changes needed to improve, ARA offers feedback sessions. Feedbacks are an educative process involving an in-depth discussion with an ARA adjudicator about the strengths and weaknesses of the report and how to improve it. Many of major ARA award winners have taken this path to improvement and have achieved gold on the basis of feedbacks, action, learning over time. We are very pleased to recognize the record number of 69 organizations that have achieved a gold award this year. These reports are all models for other organizations to follow. This number of gold awards reflects a steady increase in the standard of reporting. In the 1990s, there were about 15 gold awards each year. To remind you, a gold award standard report must achieve overall excellence in annual reporting, provide high quality coverage of most aspects of the ARA criteria, provide full disclosure of key aspects of its core business, and address current legislative and regulatory requirements. Now to the announcement of the gold awards. As chair of the ARA, it has been a real privilege to have this opportunity to recognize the exceptionally high standard in reporting to stakeholders this year. Congratulations to all the organizations that have received a gold award in 2020. It is now that exciting time in our proceedings to move to the announcement of the prestigious report of the year. As ARA Chair, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to introduce Stephen Varady, the hardworking chair of the ARA Awards Committee. In his role as chair, Stephen has his finger on the pulse of every entry and can provide interesting commentary on each of them. So Stephen, over to you to announce the 2020 Report of the Year Award. Thank you, Suresh. The entrants in the 2020 ARA Awards were a very diverse group of organisations in terms of their geographical origin and industry sector or category. The finalists for the 2020 Report of the Year from Australia, Malaysia and New Zealand represent the infrastructure, logistics and transport, local government, primary industry, property and construction and retail sectors and fully reflect this diversity. The finalists for Report of the Year are Kaya Mata Sarawak Verhad, 
Logan City Council, Marlborough Lines Limited, Sanford Limited, and West Farmers Limited. Despite their obvious differences, these organisations all achieved a very high standard in annual reporting. Each of them was committed to providing a report that responded to the stakeholder needs and their disclosures were open, honest and genuine. In a world where trust in large corporations and government agencies is diminishing, I believe integrity, transparency and balance in reporting are the keys to rebuilding that trust. All of the finalists distinguished themselves and the overall standard was so high that the judges had a very difficult task in selecting a winner. Please join me in congratulating the winner of the 2020 ARA Report of the Year, Logan City Council. Logan City Council has entered the awards for many years and has steadily improved from one year to the next. This is only achieved with a genuine desire to improve and long-term commitment. Logan City Council has recently emerged from a particularly challenging and difficult period. The open and honest way in which they reported on the challenges they faced helped them to achieve the distinction of Report of the Year. It is important to note that the Australasian Reporting Awards do not benchmark or judge the performance or behaviour of an organisation, but how the performance and behaviour of the organisation has been reported. I congratulate all the entrants in the 2020 ARA Awards for seizing the opportunity to learn about the quality of their reporting while submitting their reports for assessment. I would encourage you to have a feedback session with an ARA adjudicator to complete this process. I look forward to seeing your reports next year. Over to you, Suresh. Let me add my congratulations to Logan City Council, winner of the 2020 Report of the Year Award. The five finalists for this prestigious award are also to be congratulated on achieving an exceptionally high standard. So on behalf of all the ARA people involved in the running and judging of the awards, congratulations to all of the organisations that entered and all those that received an award tonight. And many thanks to everyone involved for being behind this virtual 70th ARA Awards events, sponsors and supporters, directors and adjudicators, and all those behind the scenes, including our partners, Anderson Knight. We look forward to seeing you in Sydney next year for the 2021 Awards. It will be a gala event to celebrate ARA 70th year going forward. Entries for the 2021 awards will open on 1 October this year. Please do pass on award details to others you know who are involved in annual reporting. We'd be delighted to have them join this rewarding challenge. I thank you for your time and your interest in the ARA. May our relationship long continue.